guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty. I'm a crafter and a gnome maker. One of my subscribers asked if I'd be sure and make an Easter lamb this year for Easter. So I did a boy lamb and a girl lamb. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay guys, you're going to need some quilt batting, you're going to need a styrofoam egg, a styrofoam cone, you're going to need a couple of sticks, you're going to need some hair noodles instead of that piece of styrofoam, and some Sherpa. To get started, we're going to take our styrofoam cone and we're going to cut at an inch down at a diagonal at a 45 degree angle because we're going to attach the egg like that. Go ahead and get your stick, it's a 6 inch stick, we're going to go ahead and cut it at 5 inches and then we're going to go ahead and sharpen both ends so that we can stick it down into the styrofoam and into the egg. And go ahead and attach the egg at an angle like that. Then we're going to go ahead and glue it together to make sure that the stick is glued into the styrofoam and then glue the egg in as well. Okay, we're going to take our quilt batting. This is a 3 inch by 18 inch and we're just going to kind of beef up the top part of the body so it doesn't look like so much like it is a cone. Go ahead and glue that down and then trim off any excess. Okay, now we're going to take our Sherpa fabric and cut, at, cut your 8 inch piece at the stretchy side. We're going to go ahead and pull it up. We're going to pull it up an inch and a half so we can glue that to the bottom. We're just going to come up the back and start gluing it down. Now we're just going to, what we're going to do is we're going to glue it all the way up just with the fabric matching the fabric. And if you don't use the same exact size styrofoam noodle as I have, I mean styrofoam cone as I have, just go ahead and cut your fabric so that it does go down around the bottom part and it'll go all the way up the top as well. We're just pinching it together and the glue is holding all that Sherpa together. We're going to go all the way up to where the neck area is and then we're going to stop and then we're going to glue our bottom down. Let's so go ahead and turn it over and go ahead and glue around the bottom just to make it flat. Okay, now we're going to take a string and we're going to pull our fabric up so we don't have any loose fabric and we're going to tie a string around the neck area. Okay, next we're going to continue to go ahead and pull our fabric around that face and glue it up in the back. Just keep pulling it so it's flush around the face. You want to make sure you don't have any wrinkles and just get that glued in. And you're not overlapping, you're just gluing the sides together. Okay, then go ahead and pull it up to the top and then go ahead and cut off the top part. And we're going to save the top part to make our legs. And then just continue to pull and stretch and glue and you're going to keep trimming it off until it's completely flush with that egg. Once you get all this glued in, you're not going to see any seams because Sherpa really gives has a lot of forgiveness on um, seams so you don't see it. Just keep pulling it up there and get it glued down. Just make sure the sides meet and there's no overlapping. Okay, the excess fabric we're actually using for the ears, we're just folding it over on the 4 inch side and we're just going to kind of do a little curve around the bottom and back up the other side just to give it a rounded edge for the ears. There's no pattern for this, just round it up. Just make like a U. And then do the same thing for the other one. Just fold it over and just kind of go up as a U. Then we're going to take them, open it up, and we're just going to glue them shut. So you can glue down the bottom and one side, fold it over, set it aside, let it dry. And then do the same thing with the second one. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and turn them right side out. Just take your pliers, if that's the easiest way for me to do it, pull it on out. And then I'm going to take a little bone folder that I have and kind of shape the end of the ear. You can use anything that's you know, has a point to it just to shape it. 
Then go ahead and tuck it in, and we're going to tuck it in about an inch on both of those, and then put them aside. Next, we're going to go ahead and make the legs. We're going to take a piece of um, textured felt, a hair noodle, and we're going to go ahead and remove the wire from it. Then we are going to cut those at two and three quarter inches, and then just make sure that they match. Okay, then to go ahead and take two sticks, go ahead and sharpen them. And then we are going to cut those off at four inches. Okay, go ahead and run them through your noodle. And then we're going to wrap them with the Sherpa. This is a three inch by six and a half inch, so do a seam on the three inch side. And you only have to do one side of those. And then we're going to turn it around and we're going to roll those up in it. Just make it flush with the bottom and roll it up. Glue down the side. And then we're going to glue inside the top so it's flush with that stick. So when we put it up against the body, you won't see any of the raw edge there. Next, we're going to take our fabric and we're going to cut about a two and a half inch by two and a half inch square. And it doesn't have to be exact. And we're going to go ahead and glue our pieces to it. And this is going to be the very bottom of his hoof. Go ahead and cut those in half. And then we're going to cut it as a circle around it to about a half an inch from the edge. We're going to come back in and put a three quarter inch um, piece of fabric around the edge so you won't see it. Go ahead and cut these in slits all the way around. And then we're going to glue it straight up to it. Now you want to glue over the fabric. So make sure that the fabric is tucked in there so you can glue around that fabric. And then we're going to come back in with our three quarter inch strip and we're just going to start attaching it. So just push the bottom down, push the um, hoof part on the bottom down as you go to pull it down so that all that goes pretty flush. And you can come back in and add some extra glue in the middle if it doesn't go all the way around. But kind of pull it a little bit tight as you're pulling it so that it does give a good separation on that hoof. And then you can do exactly the same thing with the second piece. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach them to our body. And I'm spread, spreading them out probably about, um, say, two and a half inches between the two legs. You can put them however you want to. Just push them in there, then pull them back out, and just go ahead and glue them in. And then put a little bit of glue around the fabric part, and then hold that in. Okay, then next we're going to attach our ears. Now you're going to need to cut your um, sticks. Go ahead and sharpen them on both ends and you're going to cut them at about two inches each. So you're going to have about an inch going into the ear and then an inch going into the head itself. Go ahead and open those up, put some glue in there and add your stick. And then we're going to seal that up at the top as well. Just kind of squeeze it on up there. Then go ahead and attach it to the, to the head. Just poke a hole right in the side and just going to kind of make them stick straight out. And do that same thing with the second one. And then we're going to pull them back out and we're going to glue them in. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make the arms, and I'm just taking an, another hair noodle, taking the wire out, and then we're going to cut these at three inches in length each, and we're going to make these exactly like we did the legs. 
Okay, we're going to hang it over the edge of the fabric just about an eighth of an inch, roll it on up, and then go ahead and hem that one side. And then go ahead and do the same thing with the second one. Then we're going to take our fabric, our um, square, a two by two square of felt, and we're going to make the bottom part of his hoof with this, just like we did the legs. Just glue it right onto it, let it dry, and then we're going to cut a circle around it again. And then we're going to cut the little slits in it to glue it to the arm. Just glue all those little tabs all the way around, making sure that you're covering the fabric and you don't have any loose fabric hanging over the edge. And then do the exact same thing with the second one. We're going to go ahead and take our, our piece of um, three quarter inch felt and we're just going to wrap it around. And this is a textured felt. I got it at uh, Michael's. You can use any kind of felt you want to. This was a little bit on the messy side, so just FYI, but it turned out really cute. And then go ahead and glue up underneath that edge so it's glued to that fabric. Okay, next we're going to take another dowel rod, sharpen both ends, and then cut those at one and a quarter inches each. And we're going to line it, uh, the arm up with the leg. Go ahead and turn your fabric all the way in so you have a nice finished out edge. And then we're going to put half of the stick inside of it, glue it in, and then the other half will stick into our body. Now my sticks look a little bit long here because I did cut them too long and I had to go back in and shorten them. So don't cut them more than a one and a quarter inches. Go ahead and take an X-Acto, cut a hole in it about an inch down from the neckline, and that's where we're going to put our arm. Just line it up with the same stick where you had it on the leg and then do that for both of them. Then we're going to go ahead and come back in and we're going to go ahead and attach them with glue. And I'm just attaching them on the stick side. If you want to go back in and secure them a little bit more, you can add some more glue underneath the arms. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and build his face. I'm taking two one-inch circles of felt and then some little eyes. I'm going to attach his nose right there at the tip of the egg. And you can do his face however you want to. You know, if you do something different, I'd love to see what you come up with. I'm taking a one inch um, piece of felt, adding a dot in the middle so I know where the center is, and then I'm going to take a little hole punch and punch a hole in it. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, stick those eyes through it and glue them to it. And then we're going to cut them at a curve at the bottom to kind of make it look like it's um, going over his cheek. And then I came back in um, a little bit later and added a few extra features to his eyes. So go ahead and take those and just cut a little curve around the bottom so it looks like it's setting on his cheek. And then add a little bit of glue to the black um, eye so it stays onto the felt and it doesn't turn. Okay, then we're just going to go ahead and attach them. And you can attach them however you want to. I'm just kind of putting them up a little bit above his nose and then just push them in. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to glue them in. And then take them out and then add a little bit of glue and then just put them back in. Just make sure you get them exactly where you want to and then go ahead and fluff up around his eyes so it looks like it's sitting on his cheek. Okay, then I did the girl one. What I did with her is I got some little fake eyelashes. I doubled them up. I cut them at three quarters of an inch in length and then I'm just attaching them onto her face. Just kind of line up where you want them before you glue them and then come back in and glue them. But they're only going to be three quarters of an inch and then glue them in. Just glue a little bit across the top part and then we're going to come back in with a, a um, about an eighth inch strip of craft foam to kind of go over the top edge of it just to kind of trim it out. So three quarter by about an eighth inch and we're going to glue that on the top part of both eyelashes to kind of finish those out. Okay, then I came back in and I put a little bow on her head. 
You just tie a little ribbon into a bow and then just attach it to her head. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of one inch by one and a half inch piece of felt and I'm going to make an eyelid for him. So we're going to cut that one inch piece from side to side at a curve so it looks like an eyelid. Just kind of curve it down to the bottom and back up the side. And then we're going to curve the curved side over the top part of his eye. So just I'm just going to spot glue three points on there and then just glued it over the top. And I did that for both of them. And then I'm coming back in with another little bitty piece of strip of um, felt and I'm going to add some um, eyebrows to him. Okay, next we're going to make a little mouth. Go ahead and cut a half inch piece of um, felt. It's half by quarter by eighth inch. And we're just going to come straight down his nose. Just straight. And then we're going to cut a one inch strip by one eighth inch strip. And that's what we're going to make his mouth with. And just kind of make him have a little bit of a smile. And then we're going to cut two um, half inch by eighth inch strips and we're going to add a couple of little um, eyebrows to them. All right, there you have it. Pretty easy. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.